Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Last night I was sleeping and something woke me up and it was the smell of a skunk. And I woke up and that smell was in my nose so strong. And I couldn't figure out if it was a real skunk outside that sprayed or if God was trying to tell me something. And I got up out of the bed and I went to the bathroom and I still smelled it. And so I was thinking maybe a skunk sprayed outside and somehow the smell got in my house and I was trying to figure it out. But then I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, please take that smell away. I don't want to be stuck with that smell because a few months ago, a skunk sprayed my purse when I walked up on my mom's porch. It scared him and he sprayed me and I had to go buy me a new purse. But that's the most horrendous smell. You just don't want to be stuck with that smell. And uh, when I woke up, I was thinking about it, and I still don't know for sure if God was speaking to me or if there was an actual skunk out in the backyard that sprayed. But there's no smell in the house now or anything. So that makes me wonder if maybe God was speaking to me and telling me that he wanted me to speak on the subject of sin because many years ago I did a little kid storybook moment about sin and in this storybook moment I told about how my mom and her siblings were all playing out and they were holding these little kittens, they thought. <laughs> and when they showed it to my grandma, it was skunks. And so when they got sprayed, well, by I guess the mama skunk or whatever, I can't remember all the details of the story, but they had to take a bath in tomato juice in order to get rid of that horrible, horrendous smell. And in my storybook moment, I said, and Grandma, who is always ready to tell a spiritual thing, told the little children, said, and let that be a lesson to you. The blood of Jesus, the red blood of Jesus, will get rid of sin. Take a bath in the blood of Jesus and you will be sin free because it will cleanse you from sin. And I went over to my Bible that I like to keep open on my credenza and I just like to pass by it and look for a treasure, a little nugget of treasure in that word and my eyes fell to this scripture that says God was angry with his people and he said because they had forsaken him and how had they forsaken him they had created idols with their own hands and it said that was sin now what is sin? Sin is disobedience to God and it will corrupt you. Sin will separate you from God and we don't want that. We don't want to be separated from God at all. And you know people in old Israel they would create 
idols to actually bow down and worship made out of wood or gold or silver or whatever and remember that time when Moses was up on the mountain speaking to God and God told him he said get down to the children he says they have corrupted themselves and he went down there and saw that they were reveling and Aaron tried to make an excuse he said oh he said that golden calf you see he said I just took the gold the jewelry and I just threw it in the fire and out came a calf oh that's one of the most ridiculous lies in all of the Bible isn't it any lie is sin but that's just a ridiculous lie and so God abhors sin of course but he points out in that one scripture that I just quoted to you that idolatry making other idols unto yourself is sin and what could be some modern day idols well we could put money before God we could even put human beings before God isn't that right Jesus said in his word he said if you love your mother or father or your sister or brother or anyone more than you do me says you are not worthy of me so we need to watch out for the idols in our lives and we can even put work ahead of God we can put all sorts of things ahead of God I remember one time when I got caught up in um, playing this game on the computer and I was spending hours on it and God rebuked me for it and his Holy Spirit dealt with me about putting that away so eventually I just put the whole thing away and never went back to it because I would tell myself oh I'll just play a few minutes and then pretty soon I'd be hooked on it again <laughs> just right back in it so the day came that I just completely put it away from me and you might have to do that with some things in your life because if you put your time ahead of God then that is an idol God wants us to examine our lives and to see if we have made any idols. He wants us to examine our lives to see if we are committing sin in any area of our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.